What is up you guys? It's your boy Electroflame JD in the house back again once again for a beautiful wonderful South Center Revenge and today people today we are here for map 15 Vinculum Gate on Doom Augur Zenith. This will be done by 100% kills, items and secrets. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get on with the show. Hi there. How are you all doing today? <coughs> Excuse me. I'm doing marvelous. So it is Friday today and I'm hoping you guys are enjoying your Friday morning, afternoon and evening because as for me, we're going to be enjoying this with death itself. And I uh, guess this is going to be one hell of a death. This is going to be over here because this map need, means no joke. And I'm going to be using safe scopes. Yes, I will be using safe scopes. One area is going to be easier for me, but the second area is not going to be easy for me. Let's get on with this and let me show you what I mean. So first things first, we're going to go all the way up the stairs to the room. Only when you smile is gone. Will we remember it? Well, if I grab that, that's going to disappear and you hit the Doom guy right in the middle. He's going to disappear and look. Guns kind of remind you of Icon of Sin, no? Lots of guns. Yeah, right. This is not lots of guns. I can guarantee you that right now. I can really, really, truly guarantee you right now. This is not lots of guns. I can honestly guarantee you that right now. All right. Now that we have all our guns. This black wall over here is a door. And everything is bright and white. Not one of my favorite ideas for a map. But what can you say about that? Now let's stand at the middle. We have a green teleporter. We have a violet teleporter. And the blurry teleporter over there. We're going to take the green teleporter first. <coughs> And the reason why I say the green teleporter it is actually a little bit easier. One minute to kill. Hmm. Well, one minute to kill. Only two enemies. And this is a very bad idea to use this because of two side enemies. They can shoot you anywhere. So keep an eye, close eye on them, on where they are firing at you. And I'm trying not to grab the supercharger. Seriously, injured like that. Okay, that was the least of the noble. But, uh, yeah, try to stay as cool as possible and as, uh, uh, yeah, try to stay as cool as possible and try to stay positive as possible. Okay, we go. We have one plasma cell to spare. That's good. And we have the red key. So each of these teleporters will take you back to the beginning area right here. But also, each key has a teleporter. Right. This is where safe scum is going to come in handy. Right now. And safe scum. We all don't like the safe scum situation, but we have to save scum. It's a big must. There we go. I will gladly grab that, but I'm not going to grab that just yet. So, what will happen? Once I break this down, you're going to see barrels. These guys are stacked up towards each other, creating a um, chain. Chain reaction is the key. <coughs> so, this is how you're going to do this. Let's quickly just blow everything up. There we go. When you step in, when you step in, we're going to have wave after wave after wave. You have a door in the middle, a door to both inside the alcoves over there. And uh, you will also have a door to your left and right that will descend down very slowly. And when it descends down very slowly, you're going to have a wave chain gunners, shotgunners. On your <coughs> first side, on the right hand side over there is an archer. 
Later, another R trial over there. The door to the left and right will also go down slowly, and then you're gonna have barons and pinky demons. Those two over there will have pain in the ass elementals, and you have 56 rockets. And I only have 397 cells. This is the part where I will save. And this is where the safe scum is going to come in right now. First things first, we're going to go in here, grab the invisibility. I didn't really want to grab that, but okay. I'll remember the near future not to grab it. So go to left and right, <coughs> where they're teleporting in. There's a set of pinky demons coming in. And whoever is in my way will get a nasty surprise. So waiting for R12. There he is, right there. So R12. Go around over here very quickly, collect some um, uh, 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 rockets as quickly as possible. <coughs> and then your second wave. It's quite quick, that's the second wave. Right Normally I wait for that. Not that kind of trouble. Get around here. Ah, I'm getting stuck. Uh, yes, I will say scout as much as possible. I didn't mean to grab that. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. I want to get rid of most of these barons as quickly as possible. Opportunity <coughs> to um, be stopped with this last bit of rockets and uh, grab the blue key. Get the teleporter, which teleports us back over here. And now finally, we get to go to the blue one. So here's the thing with the blue one <coughs> here you also have tanky enemies like barrels and spider masterminds and the only thing you're going to be doing right now is making a noise grabbing your rocket launcher because you're going to be needing it because there's three spider masterminds and lots of barrels so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to save one more time here and then um, let's do this 
Let's teleport in, grab this. Run those things out because they do make a chain reaction. Okay. And try to stay over here as much as possible. Stay close to the vulnerability. So, <coughs> why I'm doing this? Damage the floor as well. That can help. Cool. There's another one over there. So let's get everybody to invite for us. This is now the idea right now. Make your opponents less than normal. So there's the first two spider masters. That bridge over there is going to lower very, very slowly. And you are going to be dealing with spider masters. Okay, there's the first spider there. And there's the second spider. But bear in mind, ah, oh, there's the other spider. I am not going to survive here. I just realized that. Yeah, I just realized that now. There's the bridge going down slowly. You can skip them if you want to. But I prefer, you know, let's see if I can get that spider mastermind to fight over there because I don't want to deal with two of them. Okay, there's the other spider mastermind there. Okay, so we're running around over here. Best way to do this now. And why did I teleport back? That was highly unprofessional for me. Well, I could heal up here, grab some shells if I need it. There we go. Now, you should be weak enough for me to do this because I want 100% kills. And that was not too bad, actually. Actually, to be fair, we're missing two items, which I was afraid about that. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Really, it's fine. We have the three keys. Let's open these doors up. Open. And that's it. Kills, items, secrets. Oh, that was horrible. Super cupcake tactics. You are mean. Horrible. I don't appreciate that. That, the first two fights was not really too bad. Unless you grab number one, the invulnerability, and number two, keep the supercharge until you're seriously seriously hurt about that with the cyber demons and the spider mastermind but the last fight was a bs fight really truly it was actually a bs fight wave after wave comes in to destroy you why do you put barons there i would prefer hacknets barons are too tanky really truly they are too too tanky and you cannot run around like that. I do like the ideas where you can actually destroy those pillars to make even more space for yourself, but I don't like the scrap fight where everybody comes in. It's like Sunder, where you have to fight in different varieties of corners that you have to free yourself around with. You know, I don't like that. I really truly really don't like that, but don't get me wrong about the map. It was interesting was really truly interesting I just didn't like the bright light I didn't like the white with the with the bright light colors around it it, it does not scream <clears throat> wow to me but your three teleporting but your no not three the two teleporting um, uh, arenas was fantastic really truly fantastic 
I would say the other two was not really, really that great. Really, truly, it wasn't that great. But, okay. You know what, guys and girls? I hope you guys enjoyed this part of the video. If you did, you want to see more of it, hit that thumbs up for me. Hit that thumbs up for me over there. Smash it, bash it, crash it. But, show YouTube that you loved it. If you didn't enjoy it, ah, uh, you know exactly what to do. Subscribe to the channel for more support and hit that notification bell for when more of these walkthroughs, blind let's plays, other game shenanigans, whatever comes in your way. Guys and girls, thank you so much for watching and thank you for supporting the Flame Nation. Stay frosty, stay safe, stay strong, stay healthy and remember one thing. There is a flame that burns inside of you. <clears throat> so ignite it and flame on. Cheers guys. Adios. Cheers.